Here we have our nice Arnold rig, and the Arnold rig comes with character sets, which you can select here at the bottom. So let's select the Andy body, which is a subset of Andy all with only the body controls. And if I now post this lady or thing, oops, that's not the right one to use. For that, we want to use that, that block that's around here. And I'm just changing a whole bunch of channels to get some kind of pose, which could be a walk pose, but isn't quite. Now to save this pose, since we have a character set selected, the only thing I need to do is hit S, regardless of what is selected. And if I go then to frame 24 and hit another S to make sure we got two keyframes, it should be on one when I set the first keyframe, and then say 13 in between, 12, 13, if it's 25, it, it's 12, otherwise 13. And I'm just going to just randomly change the whole pose again, make this leg go forward, Whee! come on, make this leg go forward, and that leg backwards. It's another S, now I've got three keyframes, and it will now animate between those two keyframes. So I have these two keyframes making her do a nice dance. If in between those two I bring her up, whee, and the leg that's going back, and I don't know which one that is, so I'm going to have to check on that. That one's going back is this one. If I lift that over here, Uh, sorry, the one that's going forward, if I lift that over here, it's on the keyframe for the character set, and again over here, bring it back up, the leg that's going forward needs to be up, and this one obviously should not be out there, and we have a walk cycle. It's a crappy one, but it's a walk cycle. One thing to remember when using with character sets is that when you open the scene again, the character set will not be selected. So when you open it, you need to again go in and select the proper character set. 